Oh, yeah. I would like to blow up a lake, but like without any living things in it. Hey guys, for today's video, I'm continuing Wednesday with episode five, You Reap What You Woe. I'm assuming someone is going to get karma, something is going to come right back at them, but in the last episode, Eugene got murdered, he got obliterated, he got blasted by that monster. Wednesday ran over to him, still covered in blood from her dance, blood, it was really pain, from her dance, and it so it just looked bad. So I don't know if maybe the sheriff and everyone's gonna be super sus of her because of that. It spoke volumes. I feel like the way they did that, he was covered in blood, she was covered in blood, it just looked really intense. I'm really excited to continue. This show is so addicting. I'm loving it, and I hope you guys are too. If by the end of the video you want to see the full unedited commentary, the link to my Patreon will be down below in the description, so be sure to check that out if you're interested. I would really appreciate it. So without further ado, let's get into Wednesday, episode 5. How well do we really know our parents? I've always considered him an open book. He was accused of a murder that took place right up there. What really happened that stormy night? I need to see how Morticia and Weems are going to be together. I'm so curious. But it's all Morticia Frump's fault. They were fighting over her. Literally what? She's not the one that murdered him. Seeing you in handcuffs, accused of murder. I've never loved you more. <laughs> All right, that's enough, Adams. Let's go. They really got him to look like the original, like it felt, like the the facial structure and the ears. Parents weekend. Oh, so many quirky parents. I can't wait to see this. They really got. Gomez to look like the original. I'm kind of stoked. That's pretty rad. Nevermore was created as a safe haven for our children to learn and to grow, no matter who, what they are. He looks like he has an egg on the back of his head. But I'm happy to report that Eugene is on the mend and is expected to make a full recovery. What? So he was alive. I thought he died. I could have sworn he died. And the reason he's in the hospital. That is not your fault, okay? But she told him not to go. She really told Eugene not to go. Did you look at my family? Talk about toxic pack mentality. I give my mom 30 seconds before her judgy claws come out. Enid is kind of growing in to be more like Wednesday-ish too. I uncovered your feeble subterfuge almost immediately. Does he still have all his fingers? I haven't snapped any of his digits. <laughs> they, they were concerned. You're looking a touch anemic. Have you been eating enough red meat? It's good to see you too, mom. And you, dad. Dad looks sweet. I want to see their parents. I'm sure how much more of this family togetherness I can take. I think you skipped the part where you apologized for acting like a total jerk last week. I'm actually excited to see her parents. Like the sirens. Gabrielle hasn't shown her face since I started here. My darling daughter. She I has shown. I guess you misjudged her. Why does she look afraid of her mom? What's this music? What did her mom do? I'm so curious. Your Judy Garland impression was a dead ringer. Sounds positively suicidal. <laughs> kind of. My picture's gone. That way Gomez and I can take a little walk down memory lane. <laughs> what? What? Uh, for reals. If my parents ever did something like that, I'd be like throwing up. It would be most beneficial for you all to attend a family session this weekend. That's not going to go well. We're only here for the weekend. I've always been a big fan of head shrinking. It's not that kind of head shrinking, mon chéri. That is disappointing. <laughs> I'm very excited to see how the session would go. I don't want any more. Hmm. He's gonna keep his eye on them. Son of a bitch. What? It's hard to stomach a murderer wandering around town scot free. Oh, <gasps> right, Gomez. I care enough about Wednesday to go to therapy with her. Ah, get wrecked, Dad. You think it's easy for me to sit there and talk about my crap? You got a lot on my plate right now, bud. That's your child. You know Reggie, the local coroner? He just blew his brains out. He was just about to go on vacation with his wife. I mean, not vacation, retirement. What? <gasps> oh, heck yeah. Who wants to start? No one. Where's the sun? Maybe we can discuss what it's like having Wednesday away from home. 
I mean, for me, it's been hard not having Wednesday around. Aww. I never thought I'd miss being waterboarded so much. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the heck? What a wonderful sister. Thanks for the candy. That's chips. Actually, that's potpourri. It was chips. I saw several pretzels. I'm blind, apparently. Oh my god, he's eating potpourri. What is wrong with him? You insisted I go to this school. Did you really think I wouldn't find out your secret? Your father did nothing wrong. I'll be the judge of that. I love her dress so much. The sleeves, the fit, I love it, adore it. We are a personal development movement that helps people take control of their lives. After you take control of their bank accounts. I haven't come here to fight, Brandy Jane. My name is Bianca. Brandy Jane? I finally make something of myself and you want to destroy it. You haven't made squat, Bianca. <laughs> Why is your mom so evil? A siren can never change her scales. Is it that scales like her songs or her flesh scales? Bro, what is that? Why is her mom so mean to her? There's no other sirens she can go to? The bees miss you, Eugene. So sweet. I'm glad he's alive. She has a heart. Any updates? He didn't deserve this. He didn't listen to you. You must be Wednesday. Eugene's mom's. Sue and Janet. Oh, they're so sweet. They have such sweet faces. He's gonna be okay. Right? I should go. It must be hard to see your child like that. Rough. Something made him do that. He was on this fast track to retirement. He was excited. Gun was legal. I'm registered in his name, Colt 45. Colt 45 and two zigzags. We got security footage. Camera was obscured. Black bubble gum. <gasps> Dang! Suicide notes. Says he carved it up, faked the coroner's report, and has been living with that guilt for all these years. What case? Garrett Gates? You gotta be kidding me. You heard of it? No, dude. Now I got my proof. And of course he's in town. Gomez is in town for this. Ugh. Is his face still melted? Heck yeah, it is. That's so terrifying. It looks even better, actually. Yeah, there's not many places to hide in this town. There's one road. <laughs> so, not strange to see your mom there. I love that dress so much. I'm obsessed with those types of sleeves. She hates him. You're not hungry, darling? My appetite eludes me, mother. The same way the truth eludes you. <laughs> we need to tell her. She'll never believe us. She probably will. I hope that something more morbid comes along to distract her. It won't happen. It'll always come back to her. She's been through enough to believe the truth. I'm upset. I forgot about the faceless people. Have you wolfed out yet? No. Well, that is a disappointment. Her mom's really judgmental. Time to get arrested, Gomez. Oh, this is rough. Now they're gonna need Wednesday. How can I help you, Sheriff? You're under arrest for the murder of Garrett Gates. Wednesday and Morticia are gonna have to work together now. Oh, He's so sad. It's the amount of emotions a hand can depict. Garrett was infatuated with your mother. His infatuation turned into obsession. He started stalking her. Why didn't you call the police? We tried. But his family were the oldest and richest in Jericho. Crackstone's family? Your mother and I stepped out to catch our breath. Really? Because it sounds like, seems like they lost it. His eyes bore into me, brimming with murderous intent. Yeah, no! Why wouldn't Wednesday believe this? They have an eyewitness, Morticia. Why wouldn't they believe her? Survival instinct kicked in. It was a terrible accident. Weems did the cover up. Because she wants Morticia to be in as much pain as she put her through in high school. It was all Weems. I'm calling this. Weems is evile. And not like in a good way. I'm sorry. I wasn't a better father. Could we please do without the overt display of emotion? I know they make you feel uncomfortable. 
What a great dad. You are the reason I understand how imperative it is that I never lose sight of myself. So as far as fatherhood goes, I would say you've been more than adequate. My heart, that's so sweet. Gracias, Wednesday. I love it. Garrett Gates' family deserves closure. His mother hung herself in the backyard. His father drank himself to an early grave, and even his little sister didn't escape. So your father doesn't just have Garrett's blood on his hands. He's got the whole damn family. I thought that was a football for a second. I don't know how he did that. I just want you to know that all I want is the very best for you. It's something bad. Brochures for summer camp. How is that These a- just ordinary summer camps. How are they gifts? How is this a gift? Want to send me to conversion therapy for werewolves? Don't you want a wolf out and finally be normal, honey? That's awful. I know her mother means well, but that's not the way to do it. She's obviously self-conscious about it. Also, her dad's silence speaks a thousand wor words. He has a very soft look to him. It's sad. Father packed your favorite bait. Worms. It's like some gross. What? Tell me he's not gonna blow up the fish. He's gonna blow up fish. Come on. Let's see if the fish are biting. Literal explosion, explosion fishing. What is it called? Blast fishing. He's literal blast fishing. That's quite a catch. Oh yeah. I would like to blow up a lake, but like without any f living things in it. Where is mother anyway? She said she wanted to be alone. Somewhere where no one would find her. She's never alone. What's she doing? Oh, she's at the little cult palace area. Got it. Under at Edgar Allan Poe. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. So you're a nightshade. Actually, I rejected them. Because I was a member? I'll never live up to your legacy here. So why try? I think she'll exceed it, maybe. Why would you send me somewhere where I could only ever exist in your shadow? Wow. Father didn't kill Garrett Gates, did he? Morticia did. No. <gasps> and he took the fall. He was even foaming at the mouth. He was gonna kill her? He just walked into the blade. That's on him, bro. Your father was so calm and brave. He really took the fall for her. He loved her that much. Put this back on the table. Go. Her DNA is all over it. Your father took the blame in order to protect me. That's true love. I was so grateful when they cleared him of any wrongdoing, but I knew someday this would come back to her. Why wouldn't she believe this? this is a completely plausible explanation? You should have just told her from the beginning. Never seen someone so blinded by rage. Foaming saliva, dilated pupils, mental confusion. What are those all textbook symptoms of? How can that be? There's only one way to find out. Are you sure you don't want to join? No, that's okay, darling. I don't want to spoil your fun. They have such dark children. I love it. No one's going to catch them at all. There's like one street and everybody probably lives on it. Ew. Oh, I'm going to throw up. What the heck, Wednesday? Guess it's going to be an Adams Family reunion and lock up tonight. You're both under arrest. Called it. Neither one of you are strong enough to serve hard time. And thanks to me, you won't have to. I do our little jailbird will have an escape plan. <laughs> it's a souvenir from our outing. He died from nightshade poisoning. That's disgusting. Prove to me you're still worthy to be called my son! Kill all those outcasts. He poisoned himself. Oh no. What did you see? He had a vial of nightshade poison that broke in his pocket. He was going to use the nightshade poison to murder the entire school. Classic Garrett move. Garrett Gates wasn't killed by a stab wound. Runs <laughs> <laughs> mood. Machine is a telltale sign Gross. of nightshade poisoning. But you already knew that. Because back when you were sheriff, you were in charge of the case and covered it up. How did he get everybody off scot free though? Like, how did Gomez so not get hated, outcast, put and in never more. prison? Claim the 
land the school was built on was stolen from his family over 200 years ago. <sighs> There's other land, bro. Ansel confessed the whole thing to me in a drunken stupor. It was his idea. Why did you instruct Dr. Anwar to falsify the autopsy report? Got it. What do you want? They don't have proof. So, I mean, he, they can't really do anything. My father will be released immediately with a full and unequivocal apology from the sheriff's office. Do we have a deal? How is he going to cover this one up? I know we've had our difficulties lately. Navigating the treacherous shoals of our mother-daughter relationship. They're growing together. Our psychic ability resides on the spectrum of who we are. You're a raven. A dove and a raven? But without the proper training, they can lead to madness. If I could help you, I would Wednesday. Interesting twist. Somebody from our bloodline reaches out from beyond to help us. Goody has. Goody was a witch of great strength, but her vengeance pushed her too far. There we go. Ooh, you get that apology. I don't know, grudges. Only blood deaths. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Your daughter and my son have become close. I pity any boy who gets caught in her viper's gaze, but he must be a good egg. She wouldn't tolerate anything less. Hmm. He has his mom to thank for that. She wouldn't. So they're suddenly cool now? The sheriff had it out for Gomez. I just hope that one day you'll finally be able to accept me for who I am. Confidence? She's not even gonna say bye to her daughter? Oh, the dad is so sweet. You can tell he's such a big softy. I'm proud of you, kiddo. You do you. What a good dad. I really like the dad. Oh, let's see how this goes. I'll come back and help you under one condition. Wait until the school year is over. But after this, you and Morning Song are out of my life. I feel bad for Bianca. I really, really do. She has a really troubled, like, family dynamic relationship with her mom. Good to see that's my little death trap. I like little rain cloud. You have your own path to a stranger in your lifetime. <sighs> if you need me, I'm only a crystal ball away. This is such a sweet bonding episode. I really enjoyed it. She loves her family so much. Oh my heart. This makes me so happy to see everyone coming together and bonding, kind of. This is actually a milestone in her book. I knew it. I did witness Roan getting murdered that night. When Roan appeared the next morning, it was you. It says she's a shapeshifter, right? Not only did you impersonate Judy Garland, you became her. You're a shapeshifter. I'm curious to find out how Sheriff Galpin feels when I tell him. Ooh. Roan's father already knows what happened, and he fully supports my decision not to involve the authorities. What? Because Roan was not in his right mind. I did what I needed to do to shield the school from controversy and protect its students from harm. Tell that to Eugene. How are you protecting him? That is intense. Fire will rain. Who is doing all this? Somebody really likes chaos. Huh. So I just finished watching the fifth episode of Wednesday. And of course it's come out that Weems is covering up and she's doing stuff and she has a, she has dark motives. It is so obvious and Wednesday sees right through her and I love it. But what I really liked about this episode especially was that they had the Adams family had such bonding moments and they came closer together as a family and you get to see that Wednesday loves each and every single one of her family members even though she doesn't want to show it. Also, I don't know who lit the fire thing. I don't know who it could be. Is she doing a seance, or is this her meditation? I don't hold seances very often, but my mother told me Goody is the only one that can train me to control my psychic abilities. Oh my god, me and uh, Wednesday are wearing backwards shirts. We're like opposite matching right now. You thought about using one of my scented candles? The aroma of steak tartare is to die for. Steak tartare? Gross. No. It's just raw meat. Hmm. I can't believe Enid came. Seems like our wannabe deep throat is already here. What? What died? Smells like childhood. <laughs> what the heck? Second That's. Thoughts, why don't I just stay out here? 
that's what childhood smells like to you, Wednesday. This this concerns me. Flashlight is like orange. He has a massive tomb. I don't think he deserved all this. Whoever you are, show like it's yourself. it's just a little town that he's the founder of. Surprise! What? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Enid was in on it. Happy birthday. Thing has a little hat. Wednesday. Happy birthday to. She has. People have grown on her, and she's really grown on people. That they have a little birthday party. So cute. Why don't you make a wish? Wait, it's Latin. Fire will rain when I rise. Okay, that's not really a wish. Yeah, if it is, that's, that's sad. Bad, bad wish. We're never eating that cake, are we? I'd be concerned about that too, to be honest. My biggest concern. Crackstone is coming. To stop Crackstone, these ways we must seek. The path of a raven is a solitary one. You end up alone, unable to trust others, only seeing the darkness within them. Is that supposed to scare me? It should. She's gonna try and find that house today. Hmm. Oh, well, her friends were trying to throw her a birthday party. Girl, let them have this. <laughs> Not even for you, let them. They were trying to be nice. The party was my idea. I believe everyone deserves to be celebrated on their birthday. I prefer I to be vilified. also agree. May your 16th be as sour and misery filled as your desire. Your ever doting mother and father. Aww. They asked thing to hide it before they left on parents weekend. Ew, that's so gross. A taxidermy kit? Wow, we're still accepting presents. How does she not hate Wednesday? She's brought in like murder photos, dead animals. Worst roommate ever, honestly. She she might win that. Just find the delinquents responsible. Perhaps stop Lucas's cohorts. Right after we track down whatever attacked the Ottinger boy. All fingers would point to one of your own students. My charity has its limits. Get wrecked. Also, I do want to say- Oh, yeah. Oh, that's what that was. Yes, yes, yes. She did mention that, but I wasn't exactly sure. Also, I did look up Larissa Weems' height. 6'3", that's amazing. Who said I was ready to speak with you? You still think I'm the monster? Yeah, well, when you change your mind and you want my help, you know where to find me. I'm surprised that he's able to- try and stay friends with someone who accused him of murder and still thinks that he could possibly be a murderer. <laughs> Bianca has really grown on me as well. I really like her character. I'll be at the weather vane later if you want to stop by. Maybe we can exchange notes on self-improvement. What time later? You didn't give a time. Are you going to be there all day? My parents always made sure my birthdays were memorable. Perfect surprise. The perfect cake. She a low-key spoiled. No parties and presents and games it it all feels so trivial she stole eugene i haven't seen you since our session with your family which was certainly one i won't forget <laughs> how good you eugene's moms they had to head home for a few days so i promised i'd check in on him oh who's goody sounds like she doesn't see you for who you really are she sees more than you know i want to assure you i remain as cold and heartless as the first day we met i don't believe that i didn't ask for a free session consider it my birthday gift <laughs> Ooh, the sass I can't tell. They're like friendly, but they're also kind of sussy. There's a little bit of tension between them. Interesting. It's interesting relationship. Has Inez Bloom called again? You mean about the lights coming on at the old Gates play? A couple days ago, I referred her to the sheriff's office. So that's the house that Wednesday's gonna find. Yeah, I, I don't believe that she died. Oh, that's so they're cute. A quad kind of girl, but I've been working on that all week. Is there anyone thing didn't tell? Who do you think delivered the cake? 98% dark chocolate ganache, knowing your preferred color palette? <laughs> That's cute. That's very thoughtful. How do they all love her so much? So if I asked you out to a non-birthday song-free dinner, would that be something you're interested in? He looks so nervous to do it. Did, did I do something? I just feel like ever since the raven, you've kind of been ghosting me. Maybe she's a little embarrassed? Guess I got my answer. She needs to stop making people sad. That threat burned onto the lawn at school. It's also etched on the wall inside Crackstone's crypt. Your father and I buried the hatchet. Maybe you should do the same. I don't bury hatchets. I bury people. I sharpen them. Oh. Dang it, she took it the other way I could have gone. I saw <laughs> that in a vision. Do you recognize it? He had one too. I started having those dreams again. Do you know where this is? It's the old Gates mansion. I pass it when I go running. 
Why? Because they're going! A little embarrassing. A little call-out post right there. Hey, listen. She loves it. I can hear you up there playing. I can tell how you get lost in the music. She loves it. Lindsay forgot this. Could you get it back to her? Aren't you a boyfriend? Definitely not. Correct. Didn't think you were actually gonna show. Me neither. Hmm. Bianca deserves some good in her life. The sheriff told me his family died. Goody showed me this house for a reason. There's someone in the house! Oh no. And he didn't see Wednesday's shadow or anything? I need a distraction. It's a long shot, so I'm gonna have to lay it out for you. We'll do it over pie at the weather bank. He's not gonna hear that? Girl, what are you doing? It, I, there's no way these people are this deaf. If I heard my the trunk of my car opening and then closing, you best believe the first thing I would do is go check that. There's no way he's this deaf. NPC energy. <gasps> no way. That did not just happen. That did not just happen. <gasps> He's alive. What were you doing in the back of the mayor's SUV? How'd you know about that? Gates match. What the hell were you doing there? House hunting. <laughs> and all signs point to the Gates family in that house. How? They're all dead, every last one of them. No, they're not. There's definitely at least a couple. There's one of them that's alive. How do you manage to end up at the center of every terrible thing that happens around here? That is a good question. Mary Shelley wrote it on a dare when she was only 19. I know. She's both my literary hero and nemesis. <laughs> and I have two years and 364 days to beat her. Dang! But she will expel you if you continue to defy her. So you're only looking out for my best interest? Always. I think we're a lot alike. We aren't. I think she's being fake right now. I already have a mother and a therapist. That's enough torture, even for me. I think she's Loki kind of evil. I think she's gonna do something that makes her evil. Or she has some kind of sussy agenda. Wednesday picked up on that too. She's kind of onto her. Hello? That's crazy wallpaper. My offer? The non birthday dinner. <gasps> oh. Pick me up outside the Nevermore gates at 8 o'clock. Uh. I feel really bad because he has he's truly into her, but she, Wednesday, she's Adam, just using I him. I was gonna get you hurt, leave me under the type. Is that supposed to be about mom? No, of course not. And that would require you to actually talk about her. Get wrecked. Sorry, I say it a lot, but I'll, I'll come up with something else. Shots fired. I can't deal with this right now. You, you is that your line? Anytime. Did you ever even love her? <gasps> More than you could ever know. The dad's go-to line whenever his son just comes at him with like a request or anything is, I can't deal with this right now. I regret not showing my gratitude towards you more appropriately. Have a little birthday redo. Just two best friends. Too bad the school is on lockdown. Do you look at that full moon? She's playing everyone. How about I say I'm about to wolf out and get a pass to the looping cages and say you volunteered to lock me in. We should wear our snoods. Definitely. <gasps> I would be scared. I think she's robbing me. He's our Uber driver? Uber driver? I thought we were going on a date. Oh my god. Okay, what's up with the weird matching hoodie scarf thingies? Don't ask. Just drive. She's using both of them and they're okay with it. Like, yes, Wednesday is lovable, but how would people let her get away with all this stuff? I would be so annoyed. I'd be like, bro, I'm literally trying over here. You guys in here? Why are you doing this? What does she think? Seriously? This is gonna not end well. I want to do this. Then you should've just said so. You didn't have to trick us. Yeah, I agree, Wednesday. You're being really manipulative. And uncaring. Oh my gosh. See, I love her, but she mistreats her friends and loved ones so much. It makes me so sad. I know she's new to it, but like, girl. Yeah, let me try. Yeah, I get your fingerprints all over that door. Heck yeah. Oh. It's a werewolf thing. 
I think she might be getting close to wolfing out, actually. This is the car that hit the mayor. We need to call Tyler's dad right freaking now. Why? Because so it... can take me back to Nevermore and get me expelled? Oh, true. It's not gonna happen. This crime just got so serious, though. Instead of flowers, I thought those were a bunch of oranges in the back. There's Garrett. His outcast hating father, Ansel. And you must be Laurel. Ansel. Why did Goody lead me here? The mother is alive. It was a birthday gift. Surprise. She knew you'd love it. Um, uh, no thanks. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't have a spooky built-in altar in their family library? No. More seating for year long Dia de los Muertos. Oh, this is so awk. Oh. They loved him. They really, they really had a shrine to this man, but he sucked so bad. Oh, <gasps> the flowers. Let's go. Um, did it just kill him? Is Laurel the monster? They're in such an unsafe area too. I hate this for them. I'm uncomfortable for them. Tyler out here got murdered. <gasps> I hate that, I hate that, I hate that, I hate that. <gasps> How did they not die? Laura has to be the monster. I thought I didn't want to kill Wednesday. You okay? Since when do you care? Finally, she's kind of standing up for herself. Wednesday, what the hell are you thinking? We have to go back for Tyler. <laughs> Tyler's our ride. The thing is still inside. You're hurt. Can you walk? Where'd you come from? Take this. What happened to him? Thanks, Doc. Not to make this about me, but I am having a full blown panic attack right now. <laughs> what the hell happened? Mm. Sheriff, I understand you're upset, but I think you need to see something. She should have grabbed one of them. It's gonna be gone. Oh, it was, all here. It was cleaned out. The body parts. <sighs> Yesterday, I told you all signs pointed to this house, and I was right. You are forbidden from seeing Tyler, and you are forbidden from pursuing anything to do with this case. Understood? She's not your child, though. You directly violated my explicit order and left campus during a lockdown, putting your peers and yourself in danger. She's so expelled. What is this? It's a warning from Rowan. I feel like she wouldn't really be interested in that, unless she knows what it is. His mother drew it before she died, said I was destined to destroy the school. Now you know what's at stake. Everything you've had to protect, no less. I think I deserve another chance. Please. The growth. One more step out of line and you will be expelled. Good night. I already apologized. It's over. Over? Tonight was just the icing on the birthday cake you couldn't even be bothered to cut. Yup, yup. Use anyone to get what you want, even if it means putting them in danger. <gasps> Died tonight because of your stupid obsession. But we didn't. Now I'm one step closer to solving this case. But it's all about you. Not other people. Wednesday, girl, come on. Social cues. You want to be alone Wednesday? Be alone. Uh-oh. You better think about what you did Wednesday, because today you messed up. You messed up in every way possible, I think. She's actually sad. She feels bad. I can't tell if she actually feels Maybe bad. I was destined to be alone. Or, or for herself. Inevitable. Like for her or for herself. But for the first time in my life, it doesn't feel good. Because you have people that love you and you actually like them back. Just apologize. Do what's right. A gnawing feeling. That death is close at hand, watching me. Oh, hello. Ew. Creepy. And when Mayor Walker got too close to the truth. Oh, <gasps> no. But I won't be. No way. So whoever is watching me, know this. 
I will find you. How are we getting so close to the ending of this season? <sighs> we don't have any answers. So throughout the entire video, I was kind of annoying about being like, oh my gosh, Wednesday, you're not treating your friends right. But I was right on the money. But I'm so glad to see Enid stand up for herself. And I think Tyler's going to begin to too. So to kind of see people finally stand their ground, snap back at her, it's kind of refreshing to see that, you know, your friends can set boundaries and be like, it's not okay that I do all this for you and you don't do that for me, which I have actually experienced. So like, I know this dynamic all too well and it's a little bit sad to kind of see that. I hope that she'll grow into really caring about what that means about her friendships. I think that she's slowly growing more into a teen with feelings, which is nice to see. I love her de deadpan not even comedy, it's comedy for us, but for her she's serious. I really like it, but I think that she does need to respect other people and learn that. So I kind of want to see how that's going to happen in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye everyone!